Hello, YouTube viewers. I'm doing a video on CMP, the video game. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys um, some hidden pathways that a couple um, YouTube videos haven't shown yet. This is just, you know, to show all your, like, a couple of hidden paths. Um, there's a couple of hidden paths it's really difficult to get into unless you take your time, you know, working on it. The best way to do it is on this mode. This is for stage four only. The best item to go with is the Holy Sword. That way you can reduce your body weight while performing attacks. Okay. As you can see, my weight is reduced down. But anyway, well, let's skip through all these enemies just to show you the paths. As if you don't know, there's no arrow. If you press the up and X, you can jump. Press, if you go down to the center right here, it shows your arrow, you can jump down. This is one of the easiest hidden paths you can easily find at the beginning of the stage. Let me see if I can get past this enemy. Okay, there we go. At the end is that file. There's one through five of those. Um, I only know one location of that one. The best way to get down is through here and back up here again. That's one of the little hidden areas. Let's just get past that dude. Because we don't, don't want to fight him. Let's go ahead and do a little quick farming. Because we're going to need a couple HP and a little magic involved. Okay, I'm going to show you a hidden path that's up here. Um, you could possibly try if you want, um, but I don't recommend doing this one this way. It's a really pretty difficult path. Right here. This pumpkin won't die no matter what you do. Um, if you guys realize, um, if you jump, if you can get the pumpkin high enough, there's a jump um, little edge you can jump onto. And if you can get um, the pumpkin in there, it's not any more pumpkin up there, but it's a pumpkin if you can get on the edge before it falls back down and teleport dagger, you can actually get into the other side. So th that's the hard way if you want to do it the hard way. But there is an easy way to do it too. As you can see, there's a ledge up there. I managed to do it and wasted like half my time on it after I found another way around it. I recommend the easier way for you guys.
Okay. I think that should be good enough health. And I, right here, if you was to, you know, do an attack and throw that right over, you can actually get across. Um, as long as you have enough CP, you should be able to get across without exploding. Okay. Hmm. Not gonna let me go through. Okay, there we go. We got through. Um, there is another hidden area in this area, but I'll show that in my next video. Make sure you don't cause yourself to explode on your CPUs. Okay, once that's gone, jump to the ledge. Go up here. Okay. Oop. Sorry guys. My mistake. But yeah, if you do fall, you know, you do come across pumpkins. You know, you can benefit from it too. Okay, and in case you mess up, you can always, always use the teleport. <coughs> wow. Okay, yeah, that was my fault there. But. Okay. As you know, if you can jump through here, it will you know, take you to the opposite side here. Um, there is also pathways through here too. I, I'll show you this area first. Yes, there are a lot, a lot of pumpkins, but you can benefit from it. Make sure to collect every HP orb to max up your health. Um, yeah, down here you have, le you can take a left or a right, either way will take you what whatever. Um, I'll show you the other area on that area later. Well, now you come across a really powerful enemy here, but you don't have to fight him if you don't want to. I would be able to beat him easily if I had all the power up orbs, but you know, I just want to quickly show you guys hidden areas. Yeah, you will come across a bunch of knives and all down through here. Um, there's nothing here, but you know, there's a path that does take you here when you have to return. But oh yeah, um, now remember the ledge I showed you that was I was talking about that was pretty hard to get up to. Well, here it is. This is the ledge I was talking about. There's a brick wall. Even if you manage to get up there, if you can get this pumpkin right here above high enough, you can actually get to a higher area. But, yeah, that's mostly. Okay, uh, if you did manage to get him through up there, through the hard way, then, um, then you can actually get above up here. On this one, you just let your enemies attack you until you get high enough, and make sure to keep throwing a teleport dagger. Hold the special button and then keep throwing a teleport dagger until you get high enough. 
then when you ha get high enough, you actually come up here, which was the little area that was being blocked off. If you keep going, you know, it takes you to more of the areas of the map. And if you jump through here, it takes you more up there. If you keep going through this way, you eventually come across a lot of different paths. And you will come across a lot of these. If you attack them, you don't have to worry about, you know, dying. Okay. This is the end of my first video. I'll start a second video to continue, continue after this. Thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for part two.